Derech Eretz is to be truthful and to pro when you say something that you're going to do something and you promise somebody, you give them your word, is to keep it. As the Gemara Sechah B'Amitziah Adaf Memtet says that we learn from the Pasuk that says, Hin Tzedek, it should be your Hin, your Yes, should be Tzedek, should be justice. Your Yes should be a Yes and your No should be a No. It's better to say, No, I cannot do it than to say yes and then not do it and then uh, you know, fall, fall apart and not show up and not deliver what you promised. So therefore, it's a mitzvah, from the, it's mitzvah in the Torah to go and keep your word and to keep your promises. And uh, the world doesn't exist. The world cannot function if everybody says yes, yes, and then they don't do what they say. So then that's when uh, businesses fall through and trust is lost and there's no ahadut. So therefore a person has to know that trust is a very big thing and we have to build trust by keeping our word and going against our word is very asur. Besides for the fact that a person, he can transgress his nether, he says, yes, I will be there 10 o'clock. If he's not there 10 o'clock, so he went against his nether. Even if he says bli nether, the person you told it to, you told him, oh, I'm gonna be there bli nether. Uh, so he's assuming that uh, you told him, yes, you'll make the most effort you can to be there and then end up being that you don't and you're, you're not serious. So therefore this is also what the Gemara says, your yes should be yes and your no should be a no. And a person shouldn't do it, it's a it's, it's, it's a Gneva Da'at. A person who, says, who, who makes a promise and he never intention, has intentions to fulfill them, he just makes the other person feel good and, uh, and he's stealing his, uh, his understanding, he's tricking him, he's confusing him. So therefore a person definitely should never uh, make such a promise where he never intends to fulfill it anyways. Like Maram Sechatsuka says that it's dangerous to promise things to your children and not to fulfill them. Because they, when they will learn to lie, they will learn to say, look, Abba doesn't keep his word, so I also don't have to keep my word. I also can promise things to people and I don't have to keep it. So therefore we see that the whole society will change. The people say, Rabbi, today you can't do business honest. You have to be like this. It's the only way. Everybody else is like this, so I also have to be like this. Sneaky. Because you can't be honest. How are you going to make money honest? So you see that the whole world, everybody ruins each other based on this, that we don't want to be honest anymore. Rabbi, there, there's no, nobody knows how to make money honest today. So, Chaz uh, Shalom, that's the wrong thing to say, and that doesn't justify doing the wrong thing. But you see that you make, you change the world based on how you uh, stand for the truth or not. The Pasuk says that the, from the ground, the, the truth will grow, which means that you have to bend. Someone who's humble, you will stick to the truth. Someone who has ga'ava, you'll think that, uh, no, why should I bend for the truth? I don't have to, I don't have to pick it up. I'll continue and I'll figure it out the way I want. A person has to know it takes humility to stick to the truth, and a person has to uh, has to deliver when he says he will deliver. Otherwise, it's not. Uh, it's uh, no. Nobody can trust each other. Nobody uh, used to be people used to handshakes, look each other in the eye, and that was a business deal. That's it. Today, even with the shtarot, even with the contracts upon contracts, the loopholes, the fine print, the lawyers, and this and that, even today, it's still difficult. Why? Because people don't have this mentality of I have to stick to the truth and I have to be a man of my word. There's famous stories of the Hafez Sa'im, where he asked, Allah Shalom, he asked his daughter, can you please help me fix my books? He used to have a lot of uh, Sfarim and Mishnah Barai used to sell. She said, yeah, Abba, I want to go play with my friend. And I come back, I'll, I'll even do a hundred books with you. I said, okay. So he went to play, she came back, she saw the table stacked with books. So what is all this? He says, there's a hundred books. You're going to keep what you said. You said you're going to do even a hundred books. Here you go. You're going to keep your word. You're not going to say, you're not going to go against your word. And then in the, in the, in the Kalm, in the, in the, in the big Musari Shivo, they used to go and work on there saying the truth. People used to ask them, is it raining? The people were in the Bet Midrash. Someone just came in. He says, is it raining outside? He says, when I was outside, it wasn't raining. We need to say, they didn't want to say something that's not true. So they said, when I was outside, maybe by the time I came inside and I sat down, maybe it started raining. But when I was outside, it wasn't raining. There were so medayik, medakdik, they should never say anything that's not truthful. Uh, there was a person, you know, they, they asked him, is it, what, time, is it, is it, is it, uh, what time is it? He was sitting there waiting, one second, one second. Now it's five o'clock. He didn't want to say 4.59 is five o'clock. He waited till it's actually five o'clock, and then he said five o'clock. To see, that, that stick to the truth, not one iota of our words should be sheker. Hasa shalom.